some really great tips with me, so I wanted to pass them along. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a vlog and this is actually the first time I've picked up the camera since being sick. We were sick with a very bad flu, which we were pretty sure that it was coronavirus, which I'll get into a little bit more later on in the video. And I was really happy, but today... I found my bottle. Oh, you found it? Oh, where is it? Go get it and show it to me. Anyway, so yesterday was the first day that I really felt like we had a little bit more structure to the day and um, But now today I'm feeling a little bit worse again Anyway, so because of that I caved and I made a coffee for myself this morning because I'm just having like no luck getting up and going without it So over on Instagram I asked questions on what you guys wanted me to cover in this vlog and because we are all quarantined and stuck at home a lot of you said you wanted to know how I'm keeping the kids busy, how we're keeping ourselves from going stir crazy and just activities and stuff like that. People also asked for recipes, so I will be sharing our lunch and a snack with you guys. And also I'll be answering some questions about when we were sick. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this vlog. I'm gonna try to keep it as entertaining as possible, even though we're stuck at home. But the cool thing is, is that I feel so equipped to stay home and be with the kids. Um, and give you guys tips and advice because as you know I was out without a car for three months last fall last winter and I learned just so much about how I needed to take care of myself and how I needed to entertain the kids and keep life going on as normal um, so I'm going to be sharing as much information about that as I can okay so here is today's lunch it's a black bean and corn quesadilla and it is so good healthy and so easy all I do is take these um, olive oil wraps from Trader Joe's because they I really like the taste of them and then I just diced and sauteed half of a red pepper and then when that was almost done I added in a can of beans and some frozen corn and heated that up with some salt and pepper cumin chili powder and garlic and you can just season that to taste and then on the side is a cilantro lime crema that I made you can use either Greek yogurt or sour cream and then just add in a little bit of cilantro some lime and salt and maybe a little chili powder and it is so good and I almost forgot I added lots of shredded cheddar cheese to them too So I need to set them up with an activity so I can go and clean the kitchen and the one I want to show you first that they have been loving is something that they will play from anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and the cleanup it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to clean up which is totally worth an hour in my opinion so this is something that the kids call rainbow rice and it's so easy to make so inexpensive all it takes is some white rice and you mix it with one teaspoon of white vinegar and a wow. few drops of food coloring as much as you need honey don't play with it yet we're gonna put it on the on the floor okay can you go get the sheet anyway so the vinegar just helps the food coloring to go over all of the rice like I said about two cups per color and then you just spread it out on a cookie sheet and bake it the lowest setting of your oven for about 15 minutes and let it cool down and you can just start playing with it it is such a lifesaver um, I give them lots of little toys from their kitchen like little muffin cups and scoops and stuff like that but I also hide in all these little toys that they can just play around and find and obviously he knows the drill he already got the little table that we use but I'm just gonna lay out a sheet a queen size sheet on the floor here we're gonna set up the table with all the toys and they know that they're supposed to leave all the rice on the table and then not go off the sheet with it and then at the end it's really easy to pull up all four corners of the sheet and put all the rice back into the container gather it in the middle there usually is a little bit of a mess that like they track on their feet and walk through the house so I just vacuum that stuff up but overall it is worth the mess for how entertained they stay <laughs> so this morning is already gone there was a little bit of change of plans I wanted to do some cleaning and film a little bit of that but this one and Marcus were just just not a good morning. <laughs>
you guys have probably already guessed right now that this is actually the next day. Yesterday just kind of got difficult really quickly. The kids were fussy all day and I have this sore on my, the roof of my mouth right now that's really been um, very painful and hard to deal with and I didn't get much sleep because of it the night before. And I've just been living on ibuprofen and every time it wears off I'm just in a lot of pain. And then something else happened that I'm not going to get into that just kind of made me decide to take a step back and just give the day to the Lord and just forgo my plans and love all my kids get some rest for myself but today I'm gonna to be finishing the vlog I feel a lot better today I'm still on ibuprofen so as soon as I talk to an advice nurse I will let you guys know what's going on it's really weird I've never had anything like this but it's just very swollen and painful right now anyway so really quickly while I have a second I just kind of wanted to talk about the coronavirus and why I think my family had it so from all of the cases I've heard it started out with sometimes a common cold which I kind of I think I had it was either that or allergies and then the first day I was coming down with it I just felt really really tired all day and I thought it was just because I didn't get good sleep the night before but now I know that it was because of the virus and then that evening as I went to bed I had body aches like very bad body aches and a headache and a bit of a sore throat and it came on suddenly like within an hour I was like knew I was getting very very sick and I, I remember even going to bed I told Daniel I was like I think I'm getting really sick that night I just took NyQuil because I knew if I was gonna like get through the day the next day I needed to get good sleep so I did take NyQuil um, but I kept waking up throughout the night like either because I was achy or because I felt nauseous and then in the morning when I woke up I knew I was very sick um, just flu-like symptoms. The snore throat was not bad. It was pretty mild, um, but the body aches and headache and fatigue were extreme. Um, all day, I just laid on the couch, um, not able, like, not even able to be comfortable laying down. Like the body aches were just, I could not get comfortable at all. So my mom went into work late that morning just to help me with the kids which I was very thankful for and then after my mom went from work we just watched movie after movie after movie we watched tons of movies while I was sick and the kids were sick Daniel came home at lunchtime to feed the kids lunch and um, take care of me take care of them a little bit and then put them to bed and I slept as well and sleep really really helped a lot it seemed like the only thing that made me feel better and going to the bed that night I just slept I took NyQuil again to make sure I was getting good sleep and then I also made sure I was drinking all the day long I did force myself to eat a little bit but I really had no appetite whatsoever so I just took NyQuil again when I went to sleep but other than that I had no medication because I tried to just kind of let things run their course and oh and I almost forgot the whole time I had this I had a low fever of a hunt between 100 and 100.7 the whole time and somewhere that second night my fever broke and, and I woke up in the morning so much better that I was able to like take care of the kids clean my house make my dinner I was still tired but I was so much better however however like throughout the rest of the it's been about a week and a half now and I still don't feel quite 100% I am more tired we still have the cough that's another thing another symptom that we had um, this really dry cough and I wheeze uh, at night. Chloe's the one who got it first and then two days later Marcus got it and then I remember while Chloe was sick I kissed her on the lips accidentally not like not thinking that she was sick. Immediately I knew I was gonna get sick because I did that. I think I'm the one who got it the worst. Chloe had a cough and a sore throat and she was really snuggly for two days and then Marcus had it a little bit worse than she did. He threw up and he was just very lethargic and just sat around um, with like really tired eyes just not wanting to do anything for like two days um, so Chloe definitely had the lightest and um, oh and Marcus also had a high fever Chloe um, she felt warm but she never acted like complete like totally sick so I wasn't concerned at that point because Marcus wasn't sick and I wasn't sick and she just got it over it so quickly but anyways, even though it was not a fun thing to go through, the kids and I got through it. It was a bad flu, but it was just a flu. And I feel like it's nothing to be afraid of. But unfortunately, it was like during this time that everyone was making a run on the toilet paper and getting food storage and everything. And I was just 
like down on the couch I couldn't think to do anything um, so I had an aunt who was kind enough to go and get some food storage for me and some diapers and stuff like that so I'm very thankful that I did have the help that I needed we are feeling so much better but I think right now the only thing that I'm really dealing with is this sore on the roof of my mouth which is of all things to have right now it's it's so painful that it hurts my entire like lower face um, and hopefully the advice nurse will call me back soon but I'll keep you updated on that anyway so I want to clean up the kitchen before Daniel and the kids get home and then I'm gonna share some more um, indoor play activities that you can do with your kids really quick I just wanted to show you this hand cream that I've been using from Trader Joe's I just bought it to try it out and I love it because I've been washing my hands and sanitizing my hands so much since we've been sick they've been getting really dry and chapped and bleeding on the knuckles and this provides instant relief. It is so, so moisturizing. Um, I would guess this is one of the items at Trader Joe's that people are not stocking up on. So hopefully you can find it there. It's only $5. Um, and it smells really, really beautiful as well. And usually I'm not one to really like floral scents, but it's really, um, it's not too strong and it smells just really pretty. Okay, I've actually just had a change of plans. I remember that I didn't get a chance to do my morning quiet time this morning because the kids woke up before I even got out of bed. So I'm going to take advantage of this time while they're playing outside with Daniel um, and read and then we're going to go clean the kitchen. And right now I've been doing this study on my phone. So every morning I just go onto my phone, onto Shira's Truth website, got a comment, and right now I'm doing the judges study, and it's really good. So you can just pick out a study. They have a verse that you can post online, which I've been sharing on my Instagram every day. So anyways, I love Shira's Truth. It's really nice to have. Um, sometimes I just try to read through chapter by chapter, book by book, but sometimes it's nice to um, change it up and have a topical study like this. And on that note, I had a subscriber send me a chapter to read um, as encouragement and something to pray for throughout this uncertain time, which I read and I was like ready to cry because it was just so, so timely and so um, encouraging. Psalm chapter 91, the whole chapter is just so encouraging if you guys want to go look that up and read it.
you wash your hands? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So first, first we got. <laughs> okay. First we gotta put our cup right here underneath to catch all the juice, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we gotta turn it on. Okay, so it is time to get the kids doing something fun because it's getting close to nap time, but I don't want to just have them making messes or watching a movie. So what I'm going to do is let them help me wash the dishes. This is something that Marcus will pretend to do for like forever. He loves doing it. So I'm going to just put some plastic dishes in the sink, lay down a towel, and... Is that mine? Yes, that is your chair. Are you going to help me wash dishes? Yeah. doing the dishes for me. I just removed anything breakable or sharp. It's all plastic stuff, okay. safe stuff. And they are having a blast. And they're learning to help wash dishes. <laughs> they probably won't like it as much as they do now when they get older. Good job, Chloe. And they're gonna be soaked and gonna have to change. I was looking for their aprons, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Oh well. So this is my juice for today. I just have some celery, carrot, cucumber, and then an apple and some lemon in it, and it's really, really good. I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible while we're stuck inside. Also, I just prepped this mango so that when I get hungry for a snack, I will grab it and not something like a fig bar or granola bar or something. It's a good soap block. Good. What about the other? What about the plate? book because it is nap time and these guys are getting a little bit cranky. Oh, uh, Let's read your book now. Did you pick out your book? Uh-huh. Which one did you pick? Show me. Marky, did you pick a book too? Uh, oh, look. You like this one? Uh, this yeah. is a good one. Oh, good job guys. It's starting to hurt again, so I'm taking another ibuprofen. Whenever I don't take one, it just completely sucks all the energy out of me, and I'm just like grumpy and I just don't want to do anything. So, hopefully, that kicks in pretty soon. I have my juice here that I'm gonna sip on. Um, over on Instagram a couple days ago, I asked you guys what you wanted to see in this vlog, and some of it was content wise what you guys wanted to see in a vlog. Um, but turn a little bit into a Q&A, so I'll just answer the questions really quick. Um, someone said, what are your career goals? Um, right now, I am a mom. That is my career goal, but also, obviously, doing YouTube. Anyways, I forgot to mention really quick, I did get a call back from the advice nurse, and she 
didn't think it was trauma. She thought it was um, an infection due to me coughing while I was sick and it just like irritated the roof of my mouth and caused an infection. It should go away within 7 to 10 days. Just keep taking ibuprofen like I have been, which is kind of not what I wanted to hear because it's just so painful. I can do warm salt water rinses and that should speed up the healing process. And then um, I'm supposed to be eating soft spoons. Nothing citrus, nothing spicy. Um, and she said one other thing I can't remember. So yeah, this is just something I'm going to have to wait out. And unfortunately, it's probably because I was sick is what she was saying. Okay, so back to Instagram. Um, some recipes. Uh, when the kids wake up, I want to make some banana bread. It's like a whole wheat banana bread with chocolate chips and it's just so good. I have several really ripe bananas on the counter that we need to use and the kids love baking which is another activity that you guys could be doing with your kids. I know that it can be a little bit overwhelming so what I'm gonna do before they wake up is lay out all the ingredients like in the measuring cups. I'll probably let them mash the bananas, do the fun stuff like that but then um, everything will be pre-measured and they can just start dumping it in. If they get ahead of me, it's no big deal because everything's already measured out and it can just be fun and relaxed and maybe a little messy, but they learn so much by baking with me and they love to do it. It's a really fun bonding time for us. My skincare routine, I didn't do a full skincare routine, but I showed you guys what products I'm using in a video I'll link down below. It was a sponsored video, but I'm still using their products and I really love them. Um, other than that, I use a simple micellar water to wash off my makeup and then cleanse my skin at night. And then in the morning, I just spritz on some rose water, use that moisturizer, and then just start with my makeup. So it's a really simple skincare routine. But at night, I've been doing a face mask of primrose oil and sunflower oil. I just mix a little bit together and um, just massage it into my skin. At night, it's best after a hot shower, but I saw it on a TV show about women who look a lot younger than their ages, and one woman did that every single night. I don't do it every single night, but I do it as often as I can, and I noticed that it helps heal blemishes a lot more. I can't, I can't remember if it's the primrose or the sunflower, but anyways, it just has so many good things for your skin, so um, it's one thing that I would recommend trying. Someone said, what are you reading for fun? I currently am not really reading anything. Um, except for the, the study I was telling you guys about. Um, someone asked, what did you guys do to get over the virus that hit your household? Honestly, we just let it run its course. I tried not to take too many medications because I know that taking like DayQuil all day kind of slows down your body's healing process. At least that's what I've heard from like naturopath, um, from people who are really into like natural remedies and stuff. Um, so I think like elderberry syrup was one that would be good, but we didn't have any on hand. Um, Marcus did get an ear infection while he was sick. Uh, well, I don't know if it was an infection, but his ear did hurt. So what we did was I have a dropper of ear oil that I got from Whole Foods and I warmed that up and I put a few drops in his ear every night and then gave him like a warm um, heating pad and it went away on its own, which I'm very glad because last time this happened, he got a double ear infection and had to have antibiotics, which I was hoping to avoid, and it worked, and he's not complaining about his ear anymore. So that is great. But obviously with anything like that, make sure you consult your, your pediatricians before giving anything to your child. And other than that, it was rest. Like I said before, sleeping was the best thing that I could do for myself. I felt so much better after taking naps. Someone asked for activities that can be made at home with toddlers. I wanted to make some yogurt paint, which is great for toddlers because like Chloe will just eat paint and stuff. I saw this idea to mix natural ingredients with yogurt to dye it, and then if the toddlers eat it, it is no big deal whatsoever. But you just want some plain yogurt, and then you mix some powdered turmeric to make it yellow, but be careful because that could stain clothing. So if you get it anywhere, just wash it right away. But that will give you a really beautiful yellow, you can use um, blueberries to make like a pink, um, spinach juice to make like a green, raspberries or blackberries will make like a purple so you can do all sorts of just like juices to dye the Greek yogurt and then just give the kids some paint brushes and let them just paint and if they eat it, no big deal. Another thing that is really nice when I want some time to myself or I need to actually do something is to, I give Marcus a little shovel 
and Chloe a jar and they like to go outside and dig for worms so Marcus will dig them up and then Chloe will put them in her jar and they just love collecting worms which is great because then I get a ton of yard work done so that one is also a great idea when you want them off doing something on their own but you can still see and hear them um, and they are usually busy with it for a long long time they love looking for worms. The only bad part about it is when Marcus finds a huge one and he has to come show you and he wants you to be its mommy, then it's not the best idea ever, but it does get me a lot of times myself. Anyway, so I will try to give you guys some more ideas in the next video. I do have a couple other ideas that I shared in my last two cleaning videos. Um, if you miss them, one was to build a fort using all the cushions from the sofa. Um, if I help them build it, then they're really excited about it and they'll play inside of it that much more. The other one is a really fun one that they love. I just dye some white vinegar different colors and then you give each child a cookie sheet um, that is sprinkled with baking soda and a dropper or a syringe. And then they just drop the colored vinegar onto the baking soda and they love, love watching the chemical reaction. And for older toddlers, it's relatively clean. Marcus is really good at like just keeping it in his cookie sheet. Chloe, on the other hand, does need a little bit of help. But anyways, those are two really great ideas. I'll type out the ingredients and quantities in the description box below. But if you guys want more, like in the next video, let me know because I have a lot. Like I said at the beginning, I feel like I have just been prepared for this quarantine because yeah after being without a car for three months I'm really not looking forward to it but I feel equipped and I know I have a lot of tips that I can share with you guys so I will be making more videos on that um, and then the last question all of the questions seem to be how to entertain toddlers so I'm glad I gave you guys a lot of ideas and then the last question is what I have been stocking up on for COVID-19 um, we do have one Costco thing of toilet paper which is it's so funny to me that toilet paper is the thing that everyone's panicking about. I feel like it's such a first world problem because there are so many people who are like not having enough food and here in America we're fighting over toilet paper. It's just ridiculous to me. Like I said, when all the panic hit and like all the toilet paper was out of the stores, I was sick so there was no way that I could get out to the store. Um, but thanks to my aunt, um, we did get what we needed. Anyways, so I'm just going to take a few minutes to rest while they're napping and get back to you guys um, when we're I think we're, we might bake first, put together our banana bread, and then I'm going to see if we can go over to my sister's house. So anyways, I'm going to go now and I will catch up with you guys later. Okay, so I'm all ready to get baking with the kids. This is my healthy banana bread recipe that is so good. I'll have it typed up down below. But these are all the ingredients it calls for. There's some cinnamon, baking soda, and salt in here. Brown sugar and maple syrup are the sweetener as well as bananas. It calls for whole wheat flour, but our target is completely out of it. So this is gonna be a coronavirus banana bread edition. Also, you're supposed to have dark chocolate chips and all I have is milk chocolate. These are, have more sugar in them. Otherwise, it would be really healthy. Some Greek yogurt, and then in here I have some melted coconut oil and some vanilla and an egg. And they are gonna be so excited to bake with me. So Marcus and Coco are awake from their naps now. We're gonna throw this banana bread together and then we're gonna head to my sister's house. Are you guys ready to start baking? Good. Okay, who wants to mix the food? Okay, who wants to mash the bananas? Coco. Coco, okay. Yeah, now, but first, oh, someone spilled a little bit of that. First, we have to mash bananas. No, 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 first bananas. Okay, can you open one of the bananas? Coco, can you open this banana? Okay, take the peel off like that and put it in there. Okay, pull the peel off. Good job, yeah, put it in
banana bread is ready to take to my sister's house. We're just going to bake it there while the kids play. And Marcus and Chloe got their shoes on. <laughs> they picked out... Come here, Coco. Come show me your shoes. He thinks... Marky thinks they're tap shoes, huh? But they're slippers. I don't know why they both just want to wear their slippers, but that's fine. Okay, did the movie come on? Let's see. See if I can press play. Going? Is it the cat in the hat in there? Yeah. Okay, so we are finally on our way to my sister's house, and it's like the first time I've been in the car in about 10 or so days, maybe more, and it feels so, so good. Really quick before we take off, if you guys notice, we are in a new car. I am so thankful to tell you guys that we did get a van. Um, my dad does auto body and he got this wrecked car and fixed it up for us and we just we just needed it so badly. It's nice to have so much room in the back for the kids and I just felt so incredibly blessed. It was all the Lord's timing because we weren't gonna go for it um, until we like had cash to pay it off and then and my dad was just like ready to just go and get us one and we're making payments to him which is amazing so um yeah it was just a wonderful way that it all happened okay so we're here at my sister's house and really quick before we go in i wanted to talk about something that i forgot to mention earlier i don't know if you guys noticed when we were reading the story i was clapping my hands at marcus I always get requests to share like parenting tips and not that I feel like I have it all like all down as a parent I really don't but I've had recently some amazing moms um, who their kids are grown up share some really great tips with me so I wanted to pass them along boys are a little bit different and so a way that I tell him how to do things is with a rhythm so I'm just gonna put this down real quick so I can show you especially when I'm trying to get him to do two things um, I clap it out. But lately I've been saying something like, go get your shoes and come back here. And he is so much more likely to just jump up and do it. And he also remembers to do both things, which is fantastic and it's been really helping. So I just wanted to pass along that tip to you guys and hope that it helps you as well. Oh, Marcus, where are your slippers? Did you take your slippers off? I don't want them. You don't want them now? Okay, I'll carry you in then. You ready to go inside, Coco? Okay, let's go. The banana bread is done. And baby Avi wants it. Yeah. It's very hot. Is it good? More. More. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's a baby. It's a bell. So that's my dad. Right there. I'm his sister's husband. Yeah. That's my husband. And oh, this is the best part. Margie plays doctor. Are you gonna doctor somebody? Yeah, you can have some. My dad wants some banana bread. Oh, everyone's gone to look at the banana bread. You have a couple princesses. Oh, do you need more banana bread? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me, that was for banana bread. No, 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 Marky. You need some banana bread? Yeah. Hey, you have to ask your mommy. But I'm making delicious dinner. Anyways, so I came into, I came into this room to avoid the mayhem that is going on back there. Anyways, so we are going to be eating dinner pretty soon all together. So I thought I would just end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found a lot of that information useful that I shared. Um, if you like this type of video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a like. Leaving me a like or a comment really helps out my channel. And I appreciate it so much. I hope you're all staying well and safe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.